I'd like to call the order of the Common Council meeting for November 9th, 2021. Attendance roll call. Alder Persons Madden. Here. Kabaki. Here. Englehart. Here. Kapusta. Here. Terrence. Here. Hamill. Here. Wolf. Here. And Mayor Pitfalski. Thank you. Statement of public notice. This meeting was noticed in accordance with the open meeting law. Thank you. Public comment. It's an opportunity for any city citizens to come forward and speak. Um, you can give me your name and address. You can just announce it, that's fine. My name's Jake Schwer. I live at West 172 South 7463 Center Drive. Okay, and which agenda item are you speaking on? Uh, on the ordinance 1466 that's being voted on tonight. 1466. All right, what, would you, what do you have okay. to say? <laughs> Thank you for letting me speak. Uh, I originally brought this up to Alderman Capusta after learning what the limitations of having an unimproved roadway beyond our house meant for us homeowners on the block, let alone the other uh, two, area, two or three areas in Muskego that this also affects. Um, it's not a isolated incident incidents where it's only affecting one house, it's affecting quite a few houses. Um, and I can't speak for the other unimproved roadways behind us or behind their houses, but ours is wooded and it's also dirt and grass. Um, so having it as an unimproved roadway, any setback has to be 40 feet off of it. So whether we wanna do any improvements to our properties or anything like that, it's very difficult to do so uh, without getting a variance. Uh, so approving this will just help us homeowners that are affected by it um, more easily improve our property and the community around us. So I just encourage you to really consider the limitations we face today and that you vote in favor of this ordinance being passed today. Thank you for letting me speak today. Thank you. Do you have address? Okay, all right, thanks. Uh, communications from the mayor's office, I have none. Public hearing. Um, I'll open a public hearing for to hear any citizens on the proposed 2022 city budget. Going once, twice. Declare the public hearing closed. Or do you want to do the present? Do you want to do that? She, she, she what? She, she okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do the presentation of it, I guess, and then I kind of did that backwards. So, but we'll That's do the okay. presentation of it. Sorry. <clears throat> The public hearing tonight will provide a budget overview for the city's operations, which include the general debt service, special revenue, and capital project funds. The budget process began several months ago with setting budget goals to aid in the budget document preparation. Despite the challenges to balance the budget, the combined efforts of staff, the mayor, and committee made for a fairly smooth process. The final committee of the whole budget meeting concluded on October 12th, whereby the committee recommended the operating budget as presented, move forward to the public hearing and council adoption. The next chart in your packet provides a financial summary of the city funds as outlined in the budget overview and include 2020 actual, 2021 projected, and 2022 budgeted revenues, expenditures, fund balance, and tax data. As noted, the 2021 net fund balance reduction resulted from dedicating existing funds to the Hillendale Road Project, Test Corners Volunteer Fire Department Fire Gear and Aerial Ladder Fire Truck, Park Arthur Field Renovations, and participation in the Muskego Norway School District Field Lighting Project. The downward trend continues on into 2022 due to the closures of tax increment district TIDs 8 and 9 and significant net scheduled debt payments. The 2022 levy adjustment includes an additional 300,000 for various general operation expenditure increases listed in the chart below, including two public safety positions, Lake Patrol, a part-time court clerk, and volunteer fire contracted services. The funds will also aid in offsetting the anticipated reduction in interest earnings. Please note that increased public safety fines along with vacancies being filled with lower wage new hires will offset the recommended employee wage and benefit adjustments. As for the city tax levy, the state mandate restriction to net new growth amounted to $328,877 
or 2.47%, of which the entire increase will be utilized to offset the items noted earlier, as well as future operating budget increases. Besides the levy, the assessment revaluation also impacted the tax rate, resulting in an average citywide value increase of 22%. Additionally, the termination of tax increment districts 8 and 9 added 0.60% or $80,000 to the allowable levy funding. As a result, the estimated city tax rate is anticipated to decrease by $0.74 cents to $3.81 per $1,000 of assessed value. So, unless improvements were made to your home, the city portion of your tax bill this year should have a minimal increase, of which an owner of a $300,000 home will pay an estimated $8 more for city services. Of the total $14 million tax levy, approximately $11.4 million will fund expenditures for basic operations in the general fund, $2.2 million will be dedicated for principal and interest payments, and 410000 will be applied towards the active tax district increments. In comparison to other surrounding municipalities, Muskego's tax rate continues to remain substantially less. The following slides summarize the general fund revenue and expenditure categories reflecting a balanced increase of $154,010 or 0.94%. The monthly cost of proposed operating expenditures amounts to approximately $54 per capita using the latest population estimate of 25704 and remains status quo as compared to the prior year. Of total revenues, approximately 82% are generated from taxes and intergovernmental aids. The reduction shown in the miscellaneous and other sources categories are a result of declining investment earnings. As in prior years, the largest city expenditures category continues to remain within the public safety divisions, which equals to 46% of total general fund operating costs and include police, dispatcher, volunteer fire, and building inspection services. The next fund is the debt service fund and is used to account for the principal and interest payments on all general obligation debt. Funding sources include property taxes, tax increment financing, conservation fund reimbursement, and interest earnings. For the current year, the city's total principal balance outstanding is $34 million, leaving a debt capacity limit of $138 million, or 79.4%. This amounts to a $4 million debt reduction over the prior year and is contributed to the final payment of the 2013 general obligation refunding bonds and prior year refunding of a tax increment district related general obligation bond. Future borrowing plans, refinancing, and debt levy projections continue to indicate minimal increases. Summarized in the following chart are the special revenue funds, otherwise known as specific purpose programs. The expenditure activities for 2022 resulted in a projected grand total for all funds combined of approximately $2.6 million and include tax increment related debt payments, various park improvements, and increased refuse and recycling hauling fees due to inclusion of the state tipping fees. The final budget for review is the 2022 capital projects and amounts to a net total of approximately $2.2 million down from the prior year due to completion of the Hillendale Road project. Financing for the majority of items will be funded by landfill host fees and consist of various technology related and equipment requests from finance, information technology, public safety, and the public works departments. This concludes the 2022 budget public hearing presentation. All proposed balanced budgets, including the tax levy, will be considered for approval by the Common Council this evening. Thank you. This time, if anyone wants to make any comments, and now that I've actually presented it, <laughs> I'll take it. Going once, twice. All right, this public hearing is closed. Moving on to consent agenda. Approval of Common Council minutes from October 12th, 26th and 27th. Resolution 100-2021, approval of Parks and Recreation Athletic 
Field Usage Policy and Procedures, Resolution 101-2021, Reapproval of a Certified Survey Map and Condominium Plot for the Glen at Muskego Lakes Development, Resolution 102-2021, Approval of a Preliminary Plot for the Apple Hills Subdivision. Motion to approve and gross. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That passes unanimously. Moving on to new business, resolution 103-2021, approval of the 2022 general fund operating budget and tax levy. Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That passes unanimously. Thank you. Resolution 104 2021, approval of the 2022 capital budget. Move, move to approve. approve. Wolf and. Second. And <laughs> <laughs> Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That passes unanimously as well. Thank you. Resolution 105-2021, resolution authorizing special quarterly charges for garbage and refuge disposal and recycling <coughs> service. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? As mentioned in the thing, the increase in here is mainly due to we have to pay tipping fees now, which we haven't in the past. So, um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That passes unanimously. And that that add, that's like eight dollars more a month or, or a, mm -hmm. per period yeah. or something, right? Is it monthly? Mm -hmm. Quarterly. Quarterly. Okay. Thanks. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. It passes unanimously. Thank you. Resolution 106, 2021, approval of 2022 sewer utility budget and rates. Move to approve. Second. Second. Discussion. Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. That passes unanimously as well. Resolution 107-2021, approval of the 2022 water utility budget and rates. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That passes unanimously. Thank you. Moving on to unfinished business. Ordinance 1464, an ordinance to establish aldermanic district boundaries for the city of Muskego. Second reading. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Yeah, I got uh, just one comment to make. When we, when we uh, put this in act, we have our quarterly uh, Mosquito newsletter that comes out. Mm -hmm. Are we going to put a map in there explaining and showing and telling who's the alderman in each district and so on? Um, we will list, well, we'll list the automatic boundaries. Um, and then list the... People we'll, in we'll, each boundary because it's changing. People will need to yeah, know who it, it is. It'll change rather than we'll list who the current website. aldermen are. What's that? We'll list who the current aldermen right. are in the districts. We'll list the new maps. People can put them together. But the, okay. the thing I'm cautioning on is the current. You, I mean, okay. no disrespect. You guys don't currently own. I mean, you right, you right. represent. Right. As long as I just want to make sure there's some type of identification. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So that'll take effect. Just so this is all out in the open, it will take effect. With the new elections in April. In April. Okay, gotcha. Correct. February? February. February. If we have it. <laughs> oh, well, yes, for the elections, if there's a primary in February, they would be running for it at that point. Right. But the actual right. districts take effect in April. April. In April, correct? Or is it January? No, it would be April. April, that's what I thought. Yep. Okay. In April? It's going through. They take effect in April, but the elections would be, the first election for that that would affect would be. Oh, yeah. But that's a primary, you're saying. But that, yes. If, if there's a primary. But yeah. But I the just actual want, boundary lines. I just want to get it out in the open so people understand boundary that it, it'll take effect in who's in, who's in where, primary, what district. Yeah. And I, I'm going to, I'll be putting something on social media tomorrow um, talking about it. We'll, put, we'll update our website and it will be in the newsletter. All right. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. <laughs> Passes with six uh, six yeas and one nay. Alderman. All right. Resolution 1465, an ordinance to amend Chapter 30, Section 30-1, 30-2A, polling places, and election officials. Second reading. 
Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That passes unanimously. Ordinance 1466, an ordinance to amend various sections of Chapter 400 of the Municipal Code of the City of Muskego, second reading. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That passes unanimously. Moving on, review of committee reports. In front of you have the Finance Committee minutes from October 12th and the Plan, com com plan Commission minutes uh, for October 5th. Any comments? Moving on to license approval. Approval of a, license, approval of a change of agent for um, the Class B held by Parkland Lodge LLC, Lucky's at the Lodge to Alicia Alexander. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That passes unanimously. Voucher approval. Motion to approve utility vouchers in the amount of $45,767.40. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That passes. There are no tax vouchers. Motion to approve general fund vouchers in the amount of $912,282.69. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That motion, passes. Motion to approve wire transfers for payroll invoices in the amount of $355,448.63. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That passes. City officials reports, we have none. Communications and miscellaneous business as authorized by law. Any updates on any of the liaisons? Little Muskego Lake had their monthly meeting um, and uh, Nobody has heard yet. Uh, Ryan Watchholz is now the chair, um, and uh, Pat Moore continues as treasurer, and um, Jared Stavaki, who is also one of our um, building inspectors in town, is now on the board there as uh, the secretary. Okay. Any other updates? Um, going back to uh, communications, um, I coming up probably. December, um, Kyle, um, going, we're going to um, bring forward discussions on um, Lake District fees, um, paying them. Not, I just want to make sure that everyone's on the same page on how we do it. There's some confusion internally on what we've been doing. Mainly the confusion is with me, not with them, <laughs> um, of why we're doing <laughs> the way we're doing it. So I'm not looking for any drastic changes monetarily. I just want to make sure that the formulas are right, but I need your input on that. Um, and there'll be a couple... Is that talking about the collection through the city or is it otherwise? Well, we're contributing to both oh, the contribution, both, okay. Mainly yeah. Lake the Noon versus Little Muskego. Yeah. They have okay. two different, I think the end results will be the same, will be similar, but I just want to clarify the formula. So, um, and we'll also be bringing forward um, this, or the initial look on sewers, um, I, I'm not sewers, um, water. Um, trust taking over. Um, we'll also be talking about um, sewer expansions and some of the ARPA funds. Um, so we're going to have some lengthy discussions coming up in the next, before the end of the year, different, uh, different and That's issues. relative to the FRF funds? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. Um, any future agenda items requests? Yes. Uh, how about an HR audit update? You can probably tell her right now when's that scheduled for? Uh, we're looking in the next two weeks to start that. We do have a list of itemized requests plus that we're pulling right now, so we should have something by the end of the year. Okay, because yeah. All right, yeah, because they said it would take about two weeks to complete. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. They're backlogged right now to the end of November, so that's as soon as we can start. Perfect. And we started communication at least to get what documents they're going to need in the meantime, so we got that moving. So, great. Thank We're you. Working on. Okay. Um, motion to adjourn. So moved. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. We're adjourned at six twenty. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you to all the department heads for the work you put in on this budget. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah.